Okay, so macOS 13 beta 10 is officially here and this update could possibly be the last beta before the release candidate when it comes to the macOS Ventura series. For me, the update size before installation came in at exactly 1.28 gigs and during the installation update, this got to 2.13 gigs. Now, this update does have some major changes and before we get there, we just look at the build number so that we know where we are in terms of stability so if we go to general and then go to software update you will see that we are up to date it takes a moment once you update for the first time and you can see the build number that we have here it's 22a5365 d this update has a D at the end and coming from beta 9, we took one step in the positive as beta 9 ended with an E. So a little bit stable compared to beta 9. Now, this is not all that Apple released as you can see in the background here. You can see that today Apple did release iOS 16.1 beta 4. They also released iPadOS 16 beta 11 today and mac os 13 beta 10 there is no watch os 9.1 beta 3 so this update is possibly going to be coming pretty soon and most of these updates i'll be covering here on the channel if you want to keep up to date do subscribe for that now when it comes to some new features and new changes that this update has to offer the first one i'll just open up facetime so that you see me there now if i go to where it says video i'll just go there and then i'll select where it says my camera right there and as you can see that's my camera that you see there so it seems like with this update they have sort of fixed the stability and continuity issue that was there when it comes to beta 8 and beta 9 this camera looks good i can actually move around when it comes to this update and show around uh, using the iphone 14 pro back camera that has been fixed and it looks more stable uh, which means that this update is also pretty soon because before this was buggy and some people were having issues when it comes to continuity camera now something also that has been fixed it's something i started experiencing when it comes to mac os starting at beta 8 so you see this this was an issue when it comes to final cut pro where i would go to play back a video and even experience exporting a video so you basically see the red color that shows up there there was a video codec issue with beta 8 and beta 9 and i complained to apple using the developer page and they were able to resolve this issue finally here with mac os uh, 13 beta 10 but it was an annoying issue where video playback would always have this red color and when you export the project it would also have that issue now also something that i noticed when you are joining video conference application like zoom or like uh, when you use facetime and so on so before there was an issue whereby this application or the software would always prompt you to give permission to use the microphone and the camera and for me that issue has been resolved with this update also something that i do want to let you know is when it comes to stage manager we we'll open up a heavy traffic site like youtube for example and then just play a random video and you can see the switching still works pretty good even though you have like live traffic going on and when you do this you can see that youtube is still updating in the background there's no freezing there's no jitter and that was an issue before when it comes to stage manager now that's as much as stage manager something else i want to show you here when it comes to the settings so if we go into the settings and then go to where it says wallpaper right there you can see that the default mac os ventura graphic has been updated and this is dynamic with five stages you can sort of see the different stages as you go about this dynamic uh, ventura wallpaper so this has five dynamic stages and not only that if you go to the screensaver option and go down you can see that the ventura screensaver is finally here now usually when apple does this it means that the 
OS is almost final and we saw this when it came to Mac OS 12 and so that is something that's good that they have fixed with this update. Now something that has been updated has to do with the glyph interface frames that has been updated when you want to do a Dropbox to your Mac or could be like a Mac notebook or an iMac. Now this has been updated to depict the actual icon when you are trying to Dropbox to a Mac. Mac. Unlike what, what we had before, where sometimes it would depict a Mac that has Mac OS Monterey or Ventura or basically a model that isn't current with your Mac that you are using. So that's something that's good. Something that you might not be interested in, but if you're a developer or Mac admin, I'll be happy to let you know that this page that you see here has been updated. So if you go to where it says account, you basically see that this has been updated. You can see the new layout that we have. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll be able to see some personal information. And if you have some upcoming events, you'll be able to see it on this developer page. That's when it comes to this. Now, something also that I would like to show you has to do with the Safari build. So if we go to about Safari, you can see that the version is still 16.1, but the build has been updated. And with Mac OS 13 beta 10, the build we have is 18614.2.9.14 and on macOS 13 beta 10 we had the build as 18614.2.7.1.1 so quite a number of uh, dots have been updated the points when it comes to safari build going to show that apple keeps on improving this better and better now mainly those are the new features and changes that i hear when it comes to this mac os ventura 13 beta 10 most probably it's going to be the last beta before the rc now if i was to go here to the calendar and just do a rough prediction of when we can expect the next update when it comes to mac os 12 what we saw was that around mid-october so on october 18 we got the rc version of mac os uh, 12 or monterey and then after that we got an rc2 on october 21st so rc1 on the 18 and then rc2 on the 21st but when it comes to this mac os 13 ventura I would say most probably the release candidate one is going to be coming out next week on the 11th of October. And then if possibly Apple releases a RC2, then later on in that week, we could see an RC2 and then a final release somewhere on the 17th or the 18th of October. It could be delayed by a week, which would put us on the 24th to the 25th. But definitely this update is coming later this year in October. Now, that's about it when it comes to this update let me know what you think and if you like this video do leave a like and subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video